Okay, let's look at an example together and I can just talk you through um, the steps that are in your work pack. So we've got 25.1 divided by 1000 and that number's in a place value grid. Um, it's the same when we're multiplying. It's much easier to um, understand how the values of each digit is changing when we can see it in a place value grid. So we're dividing by 1000, which means 25.1 is going to become 1000 times smaller. So dividing by 1000 is the same as dividing by 10, and then 10 again, and then 10 again. So if you can divide by 10, you can divide by 1000, you're just repeating the same steps. So the digits move three places to the right, and they move to the right of the place value grid because they are getting smaller. And to the right of the place value grid, um, the, the value of those digits is smaller. So if you see the 2 at the moment is in the 10s, the 5 is in the 1s, 0.1 is in the 10s, and we're going to move each of those digits to make them smaller. So we'll start with 2. So at the moment it's 2 in the 10s column, which means it's 20. We're now going to make that 3 times, um, we're going to move that 3 places to the right, sorry, to make it 1,000 times smaller. So one place would put it into the ones, two places would put it into the tenths, and three places would put it into the hundredths. So we can put it into the hundredths, and now we can put a zero in front of the decimal place and a zero in the tenths column because nothing is going to go into those two columns now. There's nothing to the left of the two. And now we've moved that, we can just copy the other two digits after the two. So the 5 goes in the thousandths column and the 1 goes in the ten thousandths column. So, and if you want to check that, you can count along and see that the 5 has gone three spaces and the 1 has gone three spaces. 